This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. This week on Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk about Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, iPad mini rumors, favorite car tech, and all kinds of fun stuff in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. The Canadian Techie asks, Hey John, my question is, what are your overall impressions of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean running on the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7? Well, my impressions have actually been so positive on the Galaxy Nexus that I'm using it as my daily driver. I am loving using Jelly Bean. It is fast, it is smooth. The new Google search, in my opinion, is way better than Siri. Google Now has been a lot of fun to play with. Everything about Jelly Bean is polished, refined, and awesome to use. So big thumbs up. And not surprisingly, that same sentiment's also echoed to the tablet world in the form of the Nexus 7. I think the Nexus 7 is probably one of the best tablets out, regardless of price. When you factor in that it's just $200, thing becomes an absolute steal. Nexus 7 has been tremendous. Everything that Google has done with Jelly Bean, they've really, really refined it. I've always liked Android, but I can never use it for really longer than three or four months before I found some problems. It got slow or laggy. Jelly Bean has changed all of that. So if you're waiting for Jelly Bean, your wait's going to be rewarded. If you want to root and install a custom build of Cyanogen or any other ROM that may have Jelly Bean incorporated or Project Butter in particular, you're going to be real, well rewarded. Hopefully that helps answer your question. User NEC1993 asks, Hi John, what car tech is your favorite? Well, for those of you guys that have been following me on Twitter or watching me on YouTube for a little over a year, you'll know that I've got a weird infatuation with the Tesla Model S, the all-electric sedan. I like electric cars for a few reasons. First, and not the reasons most people might think, 0 to 60 time in 4.4 seconds in the 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. Almost 300 miles in range, totally eliminating range anxiety. We have a second car in the family. If I need to drive more than 300 miles, I'll take that car. The second one, instant torque. You get 100% torque from pretty much zero miles per hour, or at least one mile per hour, so you're, you're moving. Thirdly, I love the innovation. I love the technology that went into the Model S. The technology in particular that I want to talk about is a 17-inch touchscreen inside of this car. It's essentially like having two iPads stacked on top of each other. Absolutely incredible. That controls everything. Car's wired with 4G technology. You can get Google Maps in there. It's got a full multi-touch browser. Just from a geek standpoint, it is awesome. It's got two Tegra 3 chips in there, one powering the dash, one powering that ridiculous 17-inch display. I absolutely love the technology. Taking away all the green or potentially green stuff or where you side on whether or not it's dirtier to make electricity or you know, grill for oil. I love it just for the tech. I love it for the innovation. I love that it's an American company started in Silicon Valley that's really bucking the automotive trends. Hopefully we'll get our hands on one to test out soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that. User Josh wants to ask, Hey John, what is your favorite feature in OS X Mountain Lion? So today, at least the day I'm filming this, is one day after Mountain Lion's release, so I haven't had that much time to test it out. Uh, but the killer feature for me is Notification Center. If you're familiar with Notification Center in iOS, it's a thing you sort of pull down and Android folks will say, We've seen it in Android as well. It's actually very handy to have. It's nice to know when new mails come in. I don't have to go ahead, open up the mail app and look. When I get new direct messages on Twitter, I'm really finding it very, very useful. And the fact that notifications actually will go away, I don't have to physically close them. has been a huge benefit. I like that it's there. I think it adds to the operating system. In fact, I think all operating systems should have an option. If you've ever used Growl in the past, it's very similar, but now it's just kind of built into the operating system. What's your guys' favorite feature? Am I missing something giant? Is notifications or reminders? The big one that you want to talk about is voice dictation, the giant one. Overall, there are over 200 features that have been plugged into 10.8. Want to hear what you guys like the best? Speaking of things that I like and like the best, I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. At this point, the name is just synonymous with video streaming. Netflix does the absolute best job at it. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. Cancel anytime. We all know Netflix. I love Netflix. Chances are you guys have used it in the past. Friend that has used it. 
If you've been waiting to try it, now is the time to do it. For a free 30-day trial membership, go to netflix.com slash buffalo. Give it a shot. So to give Netflix a try, go to netflix.com slash buffalo. There's your support for Techno Buffalo. Helps keep our lights on. A Netflix is also available in the UK or Ireland. Our viewers there can get the same free trial as the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash buffalo or netflix.ie slash buffalo. User Carlos Romero asks, do you think there'll be an iPad mini? And if yes, what can we expect from it? So at this point, I think it's a foregone conclusion that we will see an iPad mini, presumably a 7.85 ish uh, screen. What could you expect from it? Well, it's obviously going to run iOS 6 and all the features iOS 6 has to offer. I think it's going to have similar specs to the iPhone 4S. I don't think it's going to have the same upgraded processor as what we see in now the new iPad. It'll be a lesser expensive alternative. I think we are going to see a retina display in there. That's really the hallmark of an Apple product nowadays. I think where Apple is going to save some cash is going to be on RAM and it's going to be on using an older processor. Uh, 7.85 or 7 inch tablet has really become a hotbed of competition. We got the Kindle Fire and Nexus 7. So I think Apple wants to capitalize on those lower ends of the sphere. So I do think we're gonna see uh, an iPad mini. I think we'll see it in the September to November timeframe, probably when we see the new iPhone announced as well. You guys excited about an iPad mini? Do you want one, not want one? I'm kinda curious just to see it. Uh, personally, I prefer a larger screen size on my tablet. Um, but if I want something smaller, a 7.85 inch screen, probably be pretty awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. For the latest and greatest technology news, reviews, opinions, and unboxings, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video.